Even hear a story, there was a guy that I mean, found housing. Lovable, he found housing and he was proud. He got housing. So the guy that got him housing saw him on the street. Say, excuse me, I thought I got you housing. He says, oh, they kicked me out. What do yeah. you mean they kicked you out? All these so-called friends showed up there and they kicked him out and took over the housing. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's what they do. Well, I mean, it's insane. Well, I mean, that's a fair, that's a very, you know, summation of what's going on here. You know, if you're going to use stuff illegally and you're going to do stuff to get evicted, whose fault is that? It's not my fault. No. You know, and if we give these people places to live, they're going to do the same thing until we get them help to stop doing what they're doing. We can't continue like i love that people are getting behind these people and supporting the community because that's what it's about we feed people we feed the homeless we make sure people don't get down on their luck we clothe them and we try to house them but that kindness is enabling a certain type of people that are using the homelessness veil to be enabled to use drugs continue to use drugs you might as well just drop them off 50 bucks instead of the sandwich and the clothes that you got because they're going to be more appreciative yeah you know, yep. you can give them a sandwich or $20, they're going to throw the sandwich on the ground and go where you can get their fix, man. And oh. unfortunately, the, I'm talking about drug addicts, yep. not people that are just homeless. And you give them a brand new jacket, they wore it for one day, and then they throw it red on the ground. They just... Uh, oh, oh no. I mean, so we had a, a couple, um, there was a, a, a pawn shop that uh, donated a couple of tents, these red tents that everybody right. wanted. And they wound up at the uh, back at the pawn shop, so these pawn shops don't.